my pronouns are U S A. So. It's always in that kind of way. Right. I don't think you're gonna fight me or anything like that, but it's what we gotta do. Hell no. This is 20-year-old Karina Armato. On the 1st of July, 2023, she was arrested for a DUI when driving home from a local Irish pub. Even though she most certainly didn't make her parents proud that night, she definitely made this police officer blush. It all started around 2.15 in the morning when Officer Greendike of the Montville Township Police Department observed a 2009 Dodge Caliber swerving and driving in an almost serpentine fashion. He proceeded to follow the vehicle, but before he managed to initiate a traffic stop, the driver, Karina, pulled over voluntarily by herself. Hi! The reason I'm stopping you, well, I, actually, I didn't stop you. Why did you stop? Let me ask you that. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So, where are you coming from right now? She's coming from Thatcher's. From Thatcher's? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So, you came straight from Thatcher's? Yeah. Okay. Karina immediately admitted she's been to a pub. The officer almost immediately proceeded to conduct a standardized field sobriety test. Seeing her struggle to step out of the car, it is arguable whether any sort of test is even necessary. Can you say the alphabet from the letter E to the letter P for me without saying it? E through P. The main purpose of the alphabet test is to assess the ability to divide your attention between a mental task and a physical task. Usually, suspects are instructed to stand with your feet together, with your hands at your sides and remain still and to recite the alphabet without signing it. However, in this case, Karina is so clearly under the influence, the officer doesn't require her to stand still. It's not a surprise, Karina failed this test. Why, why did you just pull into here and stop them? Because you guys are here. And I just I want to follow what okay. the cops are telling gotcha. me to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, was until, I was just driving behind you. And all of a sudden you just pulled over and stopped. I didn't pull you over. You stopped. Well, okay. honestly, the carnival stuff, I didn't know a lot was going on. Like... You guys have done a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Karina starts slurring her words more and more as the officer questions her. At least she makes sure that they know how much she values their service. Karina is being quite a handful throughout the whole interaction, testing the patience of the police officers. Despite the obvious, the protocol requires them to conduct multiple field sobriety tests before arresting her. Pivot using a series of small steps and take nine steps back, okay? While you're doing that, I want you to count each step. I want you to look down at your feet and you're going to do the test in one continuous sequence. Okay, and we're not going to vape on that right now. Oh. You understand? One, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 hold on, hold on. Hey, relax. I'm making, make, back up over there and begin. So right now, it's not good, and you're under arrest. All right, good. Driving a little intoxicated. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. All right? You have the right to stop questioning any time. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. You understand those rights? You understand? You're nodding yes, is that correct? You understand? Are yeah. You just, you're, okay. Where are we going? I would like my shoes on. Okay, we'll do that when I say. I I need okay. the keys gonna, to my car. We'll get we'll take care of all that. Now, can you just drive my car? Rear seat's been shut. Yes, sir. Okay. No oh, 
we're gonna oh. your, your car's gonna be towed. No. Okay. Can't you just just drive be... my car? No, that's not how oh, this no. works. Have a seat in the car. I'm sorry. No. Upon arriving at the police station, Karina's behavior is slightly changed. It's almost as if she enjoys the interaction with officers. She is less cocky and begins to be flirtatious. Karina, we just gotta take some pictures. There's this gray background on the wall over here. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna take three pictures. You're just gonna... Yep, I'm gonna have to do that every time. Like you said before, it's procedure. So I just gotta do this every time, all right? I don't think you're gonna fight me or anything like that, but it's what we gotta do. Hell no. All right. I'm not going to. So if you make your way over that gray background and if you face just forward, at that gray blob over there, or black blob, that's a camera. Um, and we'll just tell you if we need you to adjust at all. So if you go ahead and look straight on at it for me until we get you to do the next one, that'd be good. All right, uh, turn, turn to face the door. Maybe face the door just the direction I'm facing, 90 degrees. Face the other way like I'm facing right now. And if you look straight at that exit sign. Okay. That's it. Yes, that's it. Yep, so you come take a seat back over here. Don't cuff me back. My boy. All right, uh, this hand or this hand? Okay. One that's not struggling. So. All right. As things go on, her playfulness intensifies and so does her attention to the officer. Do you understand these rights which I've just read to you? Yes. Okay. I appreciate it. Oh, are you married? I am. My wife will appreciate that actually. The officer then proceeds to read her her rights and describe the process of taking a breast sample. He emphasizes that refusal to provide a breast sample will lead to a charge with a refusal to submit a breath testing on top of the DUI. Unfortunately for Karina, it seems to be the wrong time to ask her to make a logical decision. I repeat, the law requires you to submit samples of your breath for testing. Will you submit the samples of your breath? No. No? Your answer is not acceptable. The law requires that you submit samples of your breath for breath testing. If you do not answer, or answer with anything other than yes, I will charge you with refusal. Yeah, that's okay. Now I ask you again, will you submit the breath no. testing? No. Karina refuses to provide a breath sample as rather than staying out of jail, she's clearly more focused on maintaining a deep eye contact with the officer. Not only did Karina refuse to submit breath samples, she also refused to answer questions for the standardized questionnaire. For that reason, officers allowed her to call her father to pick her up, as she will be released pending her first court appearance. So Karina, you'd refuse to answer any of these questions that I have to ask you? I thought I asked nicely. I'm fucking with you. But I'm fucking with you. I'm over it. Okay, so you'd refuse to answer any of these I questions. I want my dad to pick me up. And I'm gonna go home. Okay. Which is pretty reasonable. Well, in the grand scheme of things. Yes. For my dad to pick me up. Let me go home. Knowing she's going home tonight, Karina's mood only gets better. She proceeds to crack multiple jokes before making one of the younger police officers blush, a moment he will remember for quite some time. And the rest of the footage is just pure joy. I'm in so much trouble. Well, hopefully you could at least get to your bed and figure it out in the morning. Hell yeah. That's all that matters. Yep. Um, key number five. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh. we're ready to rock. All right. 
So we're gonna go through here. I'll, I'll get it. It's a... You go, I'll get it. All right, just walk straight in. So I gotta get the other door. All right, hang tight a second. It's another tricky door. You just take a step. All right, I'm going up the stairs here, right? On them. Are you gonna be okay getting up the stairs? I'm not busting oh, your chops. Yeah. Okay. Feel free to use the handrail. Merka. Just take it slower right here. I my, fall up these my, stairs. My um my pronouns are you as a. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So we just have to get a signature from your dad before yes. we can let you out. Okay. My dad. Here, just, well, Karina, just hang out mom, for a second here. Well, mom feels, mom feels classy. We All I gotta say is mom feels classy. Yeah. You know? We try. So, I'm gonna explain the tickets to you real quick. Oh, okay. Officer Green Deck will do the same too, don't, but... Don't even bother. I, I'm gonna cry about them later. Uh, let me just explain to you real quick. I will cry about them later. There's two no. tickets there because there's a the court date, man. so I have to tell you. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> I know you. Yeah. Why is that? I that meant I was like mean in it, like. A, you meant it in an endearing way. Yeah. Okay. Well, hi. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we don't get it in that kind of way, so. It's always in that kind of way. Wow, Montville Police Station's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> oh, my dad's gonna fucking kill me. Well, the important thing is you're home safe. But, Karina, real quick, let me just tell you about the tickets. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know. What is it? What is well, it? Well, before you go to bed, that way you could have your fresh start in the morning. And you no. know about him now. No, I don't want to. But it. there's a. Well, I just have to tell you that you do have to go to court for him. <laughs> yes. So you're going to have a court date on July 11th? My dad's going to fucking kill me. July 11th. July 11th at 1 30. I'm going to be in Nashville. Well, you're going to have to talk to the court. All right. Step back for me. We're not going out just yet. Give me a couple more. Is my dad out there? He is, yeah. He is. He's Yo! Yes. So you just got to make a copy of the form stuff. I'm going to be in Nashville. All right. Well, you will have to call our court administrator, though, to talk to her about Say what? Well, she might be able to rearrange things. She might not. I so don't. this is important because you were arrested. You do have to go to court. Okay. In the end, that was pretty sweet. If anything else, at least she made this young cop's day. Karina was booked with driving while intoxicated, refusal of breath testing, reckless driving, careless driving, and failure to maintain a lane. Even though we highlight the rather funny moments of the interaction, driving under the influence is a serious offense and should be treated as such. Karina should have never sat behind the wheel in this state. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or watch the next video on our channel.